What we have here today is a John Deere D105 uh, riding lawnmower. Uh, we're going to do a few service items on here. Uh, one of them is to replace the fuel filter. I'll show you how to change the air filter and we'll uh, remove and uh, check the gap on the spark plug. So what you want to do for the uh, fuel filter, you need a 40 micron uh, fuel filter and uh, there happens to be an arrow that's on there. I don't know if you can hardly not see that very well. It has to go in that position. I did install a valve on here uh, for when I uh, stored for the off season I turn this valve off and then run the uh, the uh, engine until the carburetor is out of uh, out of fuel and that's how I store it for the winter along with uh, putting a uh, fuel stabilizer in there the uh, part number for that is uh, Briggs and Stratton 6981.83 and uh, we'll go ahead. I already uh, turned that off and ran the uh, the engine a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, remove this spring clamp on the top as well as on here and we'll install our new uh, fuel filter. The fuel filter that I'm using is a uh, Briggs & Stratton 40 micron it, uh, the part number on that one is very important if you can uh, make it out here. There is an arrow on here and uh, you want that to be going towards your fuel pump and uh, if you do install a valve like this you want to make sure you turn it back on after that's done. Next what we'll do is uh, go ahead and uh, replace the air filter. To replace the air filter Simply just turn these two knobs to the unlock position, no tools required, and then uh, pull up. And then this uh, cartridge filter here just pulls out, just tilt it up, and it comes right out. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, that is a Briggs air filter. 590825 and uh, at the end I will uh, list all the part numbers. Okay, I have a new air filter here. This one happens to have a pre filter on it. It is uh, nothing more than a piece of foam covering up the uh, paper element. Uh, if you have one of these type of air filters, this outer one gets dirty, just take it off, wash it with some soap and water, wring it out very well, let it dry, and then reapply it over the, uh, the uh, paper element. It'll keep it uh, a little bit cleaner longer, and uh, if it gets too dirty, then you can just uh, remove that and then run with your paper element till uh, that's uh, dirty enough to change. Simply just put it on there, push it and then uh, push it down. Go ahead and put our cover back on and then turn our uh, two things to the lock position. Lastly what we'll do here is uh, remove the spark plug. You want to make sure that the uh, engine is cold uh, because it uh, can 
pins to strip out the, the threads on the uh, spark plug. So we'll go ahead and uh, remove the spark plug there and check the gap. Okay, uh, you'll need a uh, 5 8 inch uh, spark plug socket to remove it. This happens to be a Champion spark plug. The uh, number on it is RC12YC. And you'll need to uh, have a filler gauge and uh, check the gap on it. It should be 30 thousandths or 0.76. Uh, millimeters. I want to take and uh, start the uh, spark plug in there by hand uh, before you tighten it down. And we'll tighten it to uh, 15 foot-pounds or 20 newton meters. Lastly, we'll go ahead and uh, reconnect the uh, spark plug boot there until it snaps on. And uh, then we'll start it up and uh, make sure there is no fuel leaks around the uh, fuel filter.